Alright guys, have you ever been taking a test and while you're taking the test, your pencil breaks? So you're writing the answer to a question, 5 plus 3 equals 10, and then boom, it breaks. Uh, you sharpen it again, you're writing another answer and it breaks again. And are you also, is it against your religion to use mechanical pencils? Do you just hate using mechanical pencils? You have to have that raw wood? Uh, well, if I just described you, then the Test Obliterator X800 is for you. So this is an entry to the MakerBot Thingiverse Back to School Challenge for uh, 2013. So you have to make a 3D printable pencil case, a ruler, and a pencil topper. So this is 100% 3D printable, and let me give you a demo of maybe in which scenario you would use this. So let's say you're, you're taking a test and uh, your pencil breaks. Well, let's take one out. Okay, so this should have been sharpened, but let's pretend it was sharpened. So you're writing another answer and boom, it breaks again. Do you try to sharpen this? No, just throw it away. Twist this and you get another pencil, just like that. And so you're writing again and boom, you're just really nervous, so it breaks again. Do you sharpen this? No. Just toss it, boom, pencil, boom, pencil, boom, pencil. Pencils, pencils, pencils everywhere. I think I, did I use eight? I can't count. Oh, there's one stuck. Oh my gosh, that needs to be improved there. But pencil, okay, no more pencils, no more pencils. So uh, don't mind the tape there. That was just, I didn't have time to print out one piece before making this video, so I needed that to hold it together. But uh, no worries, the connector piece is included on Thingiverse, so you won't need any uh, masking tape. But yeah, so this is a rotating, it's, it's a rotating design where when you twist this, a new pencil pops up. And I can show you later how that works. Um, but that's that. And then over here, you've got, uh, which one do I wanna show first? Okay, let me show the ruler first. Okay, so here's the ruler. So, standard, it's a 16, right now it's at 16.5 centimeters. Am I, is this upside down? Is, it, is that upside down? Oh yeah, it's probably upside down for you. Okay. So yeah, I, I'm not sure if I've already said this, but this is a 0.9 megapixel video camera I'm using, so yeah, don't judge. Um, yeah, so the ruler markings here up to 16.5 centimeters, but if you wanna extend it, you can do that. So you can extend it. Oh, that's slipping out. Okay, yeah, I need to fix that. The idea is that you can extend it and extend it and extend it all the way to one yard. And actually, it's not, the units right now are only in millimeters, so it goes up to, uh, what is it, 19, or 94.5 centimeters, which is about 37 inches. So that is the yard wand, retractable ruler. Okay, this is, uh, uh, okay. So that is the retractable ruler. And it fits right here. Oh, there's my pencil falling down. So it fits right here in this uh, test obliterator X800. And then the last thing is the eraser thief. So I didn't want to make a cute little decoration. Instead I said, why not make something useful? So I don't know about you guys, but I don't really care for uh, for standard pencil erasers. I prefer the, this stuff. Statler magic eraser. These are like high quality erasers that erase so fast. It's amazing. So what I did is Let's see if you can see that there. I created this pencil topper that has uh, It's really sharp edges and what you can do is you can take an eraser like this Of course you unwrap it and you take this and you twist it in and as you're twisting it when it carves through what you have is this, this is an, a leftover eraser that has a hole, and this comes out. So actually it stays on this, but to give you an idea, earlier I took this eraser and I, I carved this, uh, this piece out of it. See, you believe me, right? <laughs> okay, so that, that's that. So this is, now you have a high quality eraser and you can stick it right on top of your pencil. So now you don't have some dinky eraser, you have an uber eraser on your pencil. Oh, and side note, the, uh, or actually I'll, I'll tell you the side note later. Okay, so that is that. Um, if I, you wanna, I guess I can just show how it works here. 
Okay. So what's the best way? To, okay. So actually, one thing I did forget to make in this build was a re, uh, a pencil, like an ability to reload these pencils. So once you're done with eight, you have to open it back up, which is takes like thirty seconds. But okay. So next time, I think it'd be cool to put a reloading slot, and then actually as, a, as another thing, you know, I have this uh, other prototype here. So do you see? This is actually a gear, and I'm working on a smaller set of gears, and what that will let you do is you can have a gearbox like this, where you push, or you're supposed to, yeah, you're supposed to be able to push, and the gears turn, and then you can use that to rotate this as well, like that, um, and so it automatic, you know, so ideally, ideally, you could be pushing a button like this or something, um, and the pencils will get reloaded. So that's in the works, but in the meantime, you can twist to eject. Okay, so let's remove this. Okay, so this top piece, normally this top piece is not is stuck on with masking tape, but uh, for the sake of this video, I had to because I just jammed my printer. So anyway, this is the top piece. Okay, let me point this. this. Pretend this isn't here. Okay. Okay. So this is how it works. So you've got this. You remove this. And then you've got this gear thing that you can take off. And so this is where the pencil comes out of. And if you take this off, what you see inside is the barrel that that has all the pencils. Okay, so now here's the big question. How is it that these pencils, how do they rise, right? So how do they go up in the air like that? As soon as they get right there, they start rising automatically. And the secret is right here. There is a triangle it's like a 60 degree inclined triangle that uh, causes the pencils to rise. So inside what's going on is, so inside you have this triangle and <laughs> again, so as, as it's rotating, it causes the triangle or it causes the pencils to, uh, yeah, that's pretty cool. So yeah, cause them to go. So, that's that. I hope you like it. Let me know if you have any feedback. Um, and if you try printing it, let me know how it goes. Um, so this is the first version. I think there are some, certainly improvements that can be made, like um, the the ruler. Like it extends, but um, it, see, right now it can fall off if you're not careful. So I need to make that a little tighter. Um, and then. The, oh, and then, by the way, this is how you, to attach this, I put little connectors here that you can, you can attach like that. Um, so, that's that, but yeah, I think this can be improved so that the pencil should be able to shoot up more, so as you wear out the eraser, you can push the pencil higher, and, uh, and you get more eraser, since right now there's like this much eraser inside, but you're only using this much. Um, and then, I think it would be cool to... For the for the the uh, test obliterator a test of X800 to allow this to have a gear, a gear mechanism so that you don't have to uh, you don't have to just twist it with your other arm you should be able to you should be able to hang upside down from a jungle gym and if suddenly you need to write something you like do this or you press your hand and voila you got a pencil in your hand okay that is the Test Obliterator X800, the Pencil Thief, or Eraser Thief Pencil Topper, and the Yard Wand uh, Extendable Ruler. And even though I should have really called it a Meter Wand, because uh, it's only in millimeters and centimeters. Thanks, guys.